Hello, I'm Mark Jaffe, the Republican American staff writer for High School Football. And we're, we're here together with uh, two players from Kennedy High School, Brian Overton and Jerry Hathaway. Uh, two guys that had tremendous games uh, last week, last Friday night, against Woodland Regional. Kennedy Eagles defeated Woodland 16-13 to to wrap up the Copper uh, Division title of the Naugatuck Valley League. And now they have a chance to play uh, Ansonia Thursday night for the Naugatuck Valley League Championship. Brian, uh, you know, as a sophomore, what was it like to have an opportunity to play in this type of game and also score the only touchdowns of the game for the Eagles? Well, it actually felt great, but couldn't do it without without all the blocking and alignment and everything, and the great coaching and stuff. Now, one of the things is you guys were down 10 nothing, right off the bat, I think, it was, and then you scored your first touchdown. Um, what was it like, Jerry, to get that pass play uh, working? And, and uh, I think it was 59 yards. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like to get that get get on the scoreboard right away? We just had to do it. I know I had a uh, a recent pick, and hopefully, I just had a good throw it to him. To get back into the game at 10-8, Jerry, is it your responsibility as the guy that's leading the, the offense to get them back and get the lead? Yep. We just gotta keep our composure, as Coach Sarlo keeps saying. Just keep our composure and just let things happen. What was the mood at halftime? Mood at halftime, just we we'll just get gotta get ready for the second half. Just the coach talk to us on um, mistakes that we done and now one of the things guys you got you lost a game early in the season, I think it was the second or third game of the season in the Augusta in overtime. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's interesting about your team is you get a lot of two point conversion runs. Mm -hmm. That particular game, Nogatuck was able to stop uh, Ronald Lorraine on a two-point conversion, you lose the game. If he had scored, you win the game. And that was the way. It, how much a game like that situation when it's a close game, late in the game, helped later in the season? And obviously you beat Torrington late in the game. You had to come from behind and then obviously beat him with him from behind. Well, we know how it feels to lose close games. When a, a game is that close, we know how it feels to lose a close game. Yeah. Um, we never experienced a close game like that win. And so we beat Holy Cross. Okay. The, the Holy Cross game was was a big game, but to beat Torrington when everybody I think probably that was watching that game, you're down 12 points late in the game. How big was that to come back a, just a week ago, and and beat them, and then bounce back again with with another victory against Willow? I mean, it, it must be a great thing for the team right now. Yeah, a great thing. When we found out we have a chance at the NBL title, I mean the NBL Copper yeah. Division, we just that just gave us a boost gave us a boost, and we just went for it. When you see the headlines the next day in, in the Coppa Valley Kings, what's that like for when you met with the team and everybody got together and, and just saw that? It was the best. It was the best feeling. I never felt like that before. I've never been a part of a championship team before. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I don't know. What position would you prefer to play down the line? I prefer to play running back. Yeah, I why? think I'm better at that yeah. than Receiver. Yeah, like breaking tackles and, yeah. and uh, yeah. Yeah. how nervous were you going into this season? Because in the first couple of games, did you play a lot, or did, you, did Coach Charlo just start getting you into the mix a little more? Actually, I, I play. I started at defense at first, yeah. so it really wasn't that bad. Like I knew how the feeling was to play varsity. Actually, I got a chance like my freshman year. I got a chance to get in. It wasn't that bad. And Jerry, how would you say your uh, sophomore uh, star is, is playing right now? He's playing pretty good. <laughs> it's funny. Um, coach gave him a chance. Um, he saw him in the Torrington game on the fourth down conversion, yeah. put a game in his hands, and he took it. It felt good. Um, how are you seeing yourself right now as, as a Republican American athlete of the week? Um, two touchdown performance, you know, in, in a big game, and now going for an NBL championship situation. How do you feel? Are you, are you kind of nervous about it? or? or? Actually, it feels good, but actually just like can't just point out me. It's the whole team doing it okay. as a team. And how would you say your teammates have you know, a lot of seniors on this team, I think close to 15 or 20 seniors. 20. 20. How big is that uh, to have them kind of embrace you? It's real big, actually. I like the confidence they give me, everything. I wish you the best of luck on Thursday. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Good luck.